Hi, art friends. Miss Bibbins and Miss Dunham shared that you are doing some kind of writing a poem about you and asked if there was some kind of art that we can put with it. And we thought of a self portrait. And I thought a very fun self portrait project that I can show you how is digital design. And so at home, I don't know what device you're using, whether it's a laptop or an iPad or a camera on your phone um, or a tablet. So any of those will work as long as you have a picture of you. So you need a photo that we can alter. So if you have, if you're using your phone or a tablet, you can just pull up a picture um, using this website, Pixlr Express, and I will show you how to play around with the tools. This is almost like Adobe Photoshop, but it's free. Sometimes the ad pops up at the bottom that you can X out, and that's part of the reason why it's free. They're trying to get some kind of advertising for it to keep running. So um, I will share my screen and show you one that I've already started. Let me pull this up. So this is one that I've already started. This is a photo that I have from Halloween a few years back. Um, and if you are using a computer and you don't have a photo yet, you're gonna go down to the start tool down here and there's a search programs and files. We can type in camera and search for it. It will pull up a camera. We are going to use it, but right now, since I'm using Zoom, it can't open the camera because Zoom is on. So that's where you would take the picture when you pull that up and it'll let you snap a photo and you can save it on your computer if you don't have a picture already. So if I wasn't using Zoom, you would be able to see that. Okay, so to start from the beginning, I'm gonna type in this website, P-I-X-L-R, Pixlr, and then I'm actually just gonna type in Pixlr Express, and this is gonna pull up the website. So there's, there's a lot of different things that open up um, let's try the photo, the online photo editor and see if this is the right one. Yes, it is. Okay. You scroll down. There's two. So one is for pros. I don't recommend that one because we are just starting out. We're not pros yet. We're going to launch Pixlr X. So you click on that. And this is the website that pops up and any other things and images. These are previous images that I've worked with. So you're going to open image and select a image on your computer or from your phone or your laptop or your iPad, and you're gonna open it, and then it'll pull up your picture for you. And right now I have a lot of negative space. All this background I don't want. And so I'm gonna come over to the crop tool, and I'm gonna click on crop, and then you'll see these little bars here on the sides. You can drag those in and make it however big or small you want to crop. And you don't wanna hit save yet because that's gonna be like, I'm done. But click apply over here on the left, the blue button says apply, and then boom, now this is the right size. So then over here on the right, this navigate section has a plus and a minus sign. This helps you to zoom in or zoom out. So we're just playing around with the different tools. And all of these are different things that you can play with and see what you can do. So cut out means removing background. Adjusting, this is different filters and colors. We can change the contrast if we want it to have a darker contrast or a lighter contrast. You can hit cancel if you didn't want to do anything like that. You can also change the colors. So here's different colors that you're changing. Saturation changes stuff. Temperature, I don't even know. Ooh, hot, cold. And tint, mm, don't really care about that. Hue, oh my goodness, some green lipstick. That's fun. Or some blue lipstick. Cancel, none of that. Um, over here is filter. And then effect. Effect is my favorite one because there's so many different effects to choose from. So all of these look like it's it, but if you actually click on it, there's more effects within. Another menu bar opens up, and these are all these different effects that you can pick. Since this is uh, Rosie the Riveter that is like from World War II, I think an effect that makes it look a little older helps it to seem like it's more um, back in the day. 
So these are effects that you can play with. Oh, I like that one. And then if you like it, you can hit apply. If you don't like it, there's a scale that you can change the scale and maybe you don't want it as bright as it shows. You can change the scale and have just a little bit, a hint. I'm gonna hit cancel. And here's the menu bar that I was telling you about. This uh, ad that you can X out and close that ad. So I hope you have fun applying all of these different filters and seeing what designs ah, you can get with all of these different things that they have. Oh my gosh, look at all my hair there. There's like a negative. Oh, that's a good one. And wow, that is a tonic. Weird, very weird. Not liking this one. So you just have fun playing around and seeing what digital design can do for you. And then retouch, you can do drawing on it, add text to it, add elements and borders and images you can add. So let me show you saving. I guess um, I will leave that, but I think I wanna posturize. One of my favorite things is posturize, but I don't know where it is. Hmm, filter. Pixelate, posturize. Okay, so under filter is posturize. And posturize tool can add some different shades. So bam, I think I like that one. So I'm gonna save that. So I'm gonna hit apply. And then down here is the save button. When you save it, you can change the file name to be anything you want. So this one is and hit download and it'll save to your device. I want to see your art. I hope you have a lot of fun making art. And if you have any trouble with this site or figuring out how it works, then um, shoot me an email and I would be happy to help you and have a Zoom time with you maybe, a one-on-one. -on -one. Or if there's a lot of you, then maybe I can Zoom with a lot of you at once and try to help you with this tool. So it's called pixlr.com backslash x backslash. And so this is just a free photo editing tool and um, we are making a self portrait and you get to design it and liquefy and posturize and do whatever filters you want to see happen. So I hope you have fun.